When you looked at the mirror, you notice a small ugly lump in nostril that can be a nasal polyp. A week later the lump can grow to about one centimeter in size. It can completely blocks in your nostril. You may be very scared. Don't worry. Nasal polyps are non-cancerous growths within the nose. They typically occur in both nostrils in those who are affected. The symptoms include trouble breathing through the nose, loss of smell, decreased taste, post-nasal drip, and a runny nose. Face pain may occasionally occur. Complications may include sinusitis. The exact cause of nasal polyps is unclear. They occur more commonly among people who have allergies, cystic fibrosis, aspirin sensitivity, or certain infections. About 4% of people currently have nasal polyps. Up to 40% of people develop them at some point in their life. They most often occur after the age of 20, and are more frequent in males than females. Nasal polyps are non-cancerous. They are benign growths of the lining tissues of nose. However, if you saw a doctor, he would tell you that you should get a nasal surgery. Before getting that scaring medical operation, you had better realize these. One fact you have to know. Surgery is not necessary. It is not a permanent solution to nasal polyps. Majority of the patients will experience a recurrence in a few weeks. When a recurrence occurs, generally the polyps will be larger than they were before the surgery. Another thing you have to know. Do not use steroids for nasal polyps. Steroids in the form of tablets, creams, and sprays, fail to tackle the root cause of the polyps. They often can cause a myriad of side effects. Steroid can lead to a weakened immune system. They cause the damage to the nasal environment. They result in chronic inflammation, and can trigger asthma. Antihistamines may help with symptoms but do not change the underlying disease. Antibiotics are not required unless complications occur in those who are affected. Also you have to know. The best solution to get rid of nasal polyps is by tackling the underlying irritation and inflammation. There are a number of different causes for nasal polyps. But what causes them to grow is irritation and inflammation of the nasal lining. Therefore. The only way to treat nasal polyps effectively is to remove the factors that causing the irritation or inflammation. So, if you want to cure your nasal polyps permanently, you have to remove all the factors that are irritating and inflaming your nasal passages. You have to make sure that your body keeps in an anti-inflammatory state. For more detail how you can get rid of nasal polyps effectively and permanently. See the link in the description below.